proposal will make years that end in double zeros a leap year only if the year leaves a remainder of 200 or 600 when divided by 900. Under this proposal, how many leap years will there be that end in double zeros between 1996 and 4096? In this problem, I can kind of do a little bit of logical thinking for this because, well, our leap year has to have, have a remainder of 200 or 600 when it's divided by 900. Well, that means it's probably, and that it has to be 200 or 600 higher than a multiple of 900. For example, say I have a, mul a multiple of 900, 900 times 1, and then to get something that has a remainder of, I don't know, 200, for example, I can just add on 200 and then get the number 1,100, which has a remainder of 900 when divided, uh, a, a remainder of 200 when it's divided by 900 because, well, this just cancels and, and you have 200 as the remainder. So we can just go through all the multiples of 900 and then each multiple can give us uh, one or two different possibilities for leap years because um, you can also exchange the 200 for the 600 and get 900 plus 600 on a totally different number or leap year. So now that we kind of know how to do this problem, we can start going through the multiples of 900. So first, we already went through um, uh, a 900 as our multiple of nine, and well, that didn't exactly work because again, the least number that we can have is 1996. So, well, the second multiple is 1,800, or 2 times 900. Well, it looks like the number itself, which is 1,800, is less than 1996, but we can't just rule out that choice because, again, it has to be 200 or 600 greater. So we're actually adding 200 or 600 to this value. And we see that if we do that, if we add on 200, and again, that will give us a number, a number that has a remainder of 200. Well, then we get 2,000, which is in this um, range of 1996 to 4096. And well, 1,800 added on to 600. Well, then we have 2,400. And again, it is in the range, so we can just keep going like this until we get to the limit, which is 4096. Well, the second multiple, uh, uh, well, well, the third multiple, three times 900, that's 2700. Then we can add on 200 or 600, which will give us two answers. The first is 2700 plus 200, which is 2900. And this add on to 600 is 33. Oh, oh, wait, this is really far into the future. Um, well, the next multiple of 900 is 3,600. And again, that will give us two answers, 3,800, which is added on to 200, and 4,200. And we can see that 4,096 is a limit, so 4200 is 104 years higher, so we can get rid of that. And we can be sure that we didn't count anything more because, well, they, they all end in double zeros. None of them are repeated. And we can be sure that um, we got every single one because, well, we went through every single multiple of 900 and checked both cases, 200 plus and 600 added on. So we can be sure that our answer is one, two, three, four, and five.